Hi, my name is Paul from Physics High, and today I would like to give you an overview of Module 6 Electromagnetism, and in particular the second inquiry question, which deals with the motor effect. Now, a quick reminder, anything that I produce here will actually be available in a printable version, so you can access that via the link in the description below. Now the module is divided up into four key inquiry questions. The first deals with charges. In fact, the inquiry question says, what happens to stationary and moving charges when they interact with electric fields and magnetic fields? For summary, I'm just going to write electric fields and magnetic fields and charges. The next inquiry question basically says, under what circumstances is a force produced on a current bearing conductor in a magnetic field? In essence, it's the motor effect. The third inquiry question asks, how are electric and magnetic fields related? And in essence, what we will look at is the concept of electromagnetic induction. And the final question, how has the knowledge of the motor effect been applied to technological advances? And in essence, I'm going to be talking about applications. So those are our four key inquiry questions, and obviously I've simplified them in simple words just to save us the space here. I'm gonna examine those four key inquiry questions, and it's important for you to understand what those questions are, and that everything that we develop underneath it relates to that particular inquiry question. Now, the syllabus refers to the motor effect in two discrete situations. The first situation it looks at is, is if you have a current bearing wire in a uniform magnetic field. The other situation that you'll be looking at is where you have two current bearing wires side by side, so each wire experiences the magnetic field of the other wire. And so what we now have is two or more wires. And so in the case of our single wire in a magnetic field, the mathematical formula we generally apply just to that situation is F is equal to B I L sine theta. When we use the two wire analyses, we use Newton's third law, and it's important that you remember that Newton's third law actually applies to that situation. We get the formula that the force per unit length is equal to K is sometimes written at, but we are going to use the value of mu naught over two pi multiplied by the individual currents all over the distance between them. Now, the under, you'll need to know how to use those particular formulas here. Now, there is one extra extension to this, and that is the definition of the ampere. Now, the syllabus was written prior to 2018 in, for implementation for 2019. In 2019, there was a change in the definition of the ampere and a number of other fundamental units. So the syllabus actually refers to an historical way of where we define the ampere. And the ampere is defined as basically the force of one Newton experience between two infinite wires that are separated by a distance of one meter. And that allows you to work out a definition of the value of an ampere. What I'm trying to get to you is, is that this mathematical formula is used to experimentally verify the value of one ampere, or at least prior to 2019. Let me give you one particular tip for any particular topics here, particularly where it relates to angles. And so when you're using the motor effect and you've got this sine theta, please remember that angle is the angle between the magnetic field lines and the direction of the current bearing wire. So always orientate your hands in such a way that you do this. So that's a 90 degree angle here. If that thumb represents a small angle like this, so my wire is this moving at an angle here to the magnetic field lines, then that's the angle we're interested in. Well, I hope that it helps you understand this particular inquiry question and as it fits in the other inquiry questions within this particular module. Please remember to like, share and subscribe Put a comment down below if this has been helpful for you. And please consider supporting me by buying me a coffee. The link is in the description below. My name is Paul from Physics High. Take care and bye for now.